And that's why you don't go sticking your head outside a window when you're driving through a tunnel. And that's not Lee Koenig in your twit. Then who the hell is it sitting in the corner of the shed? Could be Uncle Festus. If it is, how in the hell did he get in here? Do you leave the door open well, I don't again? Know, but it's under a blanket. Well, as long as it doesn't start giggling, it's okay. Well, it doesn't start moving, it's okay. If it starts moving, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get a bow and arrow and shoot it. Oh, yeah, by the way, folks, this is the DGB in the shed. As you can tell, you've got the Aussie Dead Man Toad and you, your little... You, you move one inch, I swear. And your little favourite, as you can hear, the Rody Snake is in here tonight. I don't know what's under there, but whatever you are, if you move, you're dead. And if it's a woman, she's going to get more than she bargained for. If it's a woman under a blanket, I want to know why. Well, she... Where the hell have you been? The Kugong again. Uh, wouldn't go there if you paid me. What a joke that place is. Oh, I'll tell you folks, don't go to the Kuyong. Especially not on a Friday night. Not on a Friday night. night. They don't know what, what the hell's going on with their prices. They don't know what, they, don't, they put a happy hour, says, from, from, from five to eight, and they don't do that, but they start till about six or seven, so, you know, come on. Then they charge you two different varieties of prices uh, for the same beer. Okay, yeah, their meat trays might be a bit bigger and a bit bigger than Goosey's, but, you know, that's about the only difference. Yeah, uh, very disappointed in them. Anyway, anyway, that being said, uh, we have Travis Sinclair tonight. That's who that is, you twit. Ah, and if that's him under the blanket, oh, we wonder why. Um, anyway, <laughs> Travis was raised in a little country town called Springhurst on Highway 31 in Victoria. Growing up, as Sinclair met 22 wheels, country music, and a daily injection of dieseline. Yes, she is a truck driver by trade. He's got something Life to pull back on. Life from the family point of view. Dad is a truck and Dad is a truckie and seemed to be all almost, almost all the time. So Mum and Grandfather Cannonball did what they kid could to make to help him grow up. He actually, there is a song out there where he actually mentions his grandfather Cannonball. Won't it? Um, sit still. Did what they could to help him grow. Um, his family. Has been in the transport industry for tw for 74 years. Whoa! So it's natural he would follow. But his love for country music also had been strong, was strong, and a desire to perform grew day by day. Uh, some years ago, he began to sing and play. And after encouragement from the likes of Tanya Koenig and Lee Koenig and sister, he started doing local gigs and in a state. Uh, he was honoured to be chosen for the tour of Australia with the Man from the Snow River Arena Spectacular in 2002 for 10 weeks. Uh, his, re his, re his debut album was Rhythm of the Highway. That's uh, one album that actually has that song about his grandfather in it. Um, the first seven singles released from the album all being top 10 hits. And the eighth single, Travelling Light, is currently heading in the same direction. Uh, I'm from the country. He did a du duet with Lee Kernigan back in the day. Um, yeah, so uh, there's a lot of stuff out there. I'm going to sit on track now, this track. Uh, where are ya? Still riding that line is the one, I think it's that one. his grandfather in. Well, if it's on that Rhythm of the Highway CD, it's yeah. a pretty safe bet that it's probably the one. Um, no, I'm actually wrong on that one. It is uh, still riding that line is the one. Sorry, folks. Still riding the line is the one where he mentions his grandfather, Cannonball. So, as I said, he's had uh, the many songs, Kick, Kick the Kenny, which we'll be having tonight. Uh, all I have to do is dream, a cappella, Brave Aussie Boys, you can know, you know, imagine what that song was about, that's our troops. Uh, White Trash, Boundary Rider, uh, Travelling Light, uh, Road Train, uh, Brothers of the Highway, something's beeping. Probably Uncle Festus backing the truck up to try and pull the door off the with, hinges. You've, you've been cooking stuff in that microwave again. I don't know. Anyway, uh, El Dorado Saddle. Um, eating up the bitumen, um, as I said, uh, Diesel Boy, Midnight Run, 
Yeah, they're all they're all good songs. Yeah, there are four albums. So uh, tonight we have uh, "Kick the Kenny." Good song. Um, have you any of those out there tried to try to kick a Kenworth? You're in for a nasty shock. Um, <coughs> Break your friggin' toes. In a few, few medical bills. Yeah, uh, Brothers of the Highway, which is his, ver which is his version of uh, Tony Lewis's uh, song from America. It's not a bad, not a bad version actually. And I'm a trucker, King of Cool, basically. Oh, hey, I just figured out who that could be under the sheet. It can't be Doctor Bill. He's not in the country. You sure? Because I'm not game to go over there and look. You ever seen Doctor Bill when he's trying to scare you? He only need, need to hold, hold a scalpel in his, in his hand to scare me. You well, don't ask him to help. Uh, if he looks looks at you strange and asks you to turn your head and cough, run. Been there, done that, have we? No, but I've heard some stories. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, we won't say too much on that. Right. So uh, that's the... Uh... What the hell is this segment called anymore? Uh, Roadie Snake Showcase, oh, part of the DGB tour. I thought it was bore, bore people to freaking death, huh? Nah, wrong, wrong uh, oh, sorry, show. No, that's, sorry, that's your Monday night show. Nah, different one. I won't mention what I'd like to say, but I'll know I'll get in trouble. Yeah, exactly, that's why I'm not saying too much. There's certain people play certain songs in this stuff. Same songs every week. So boring. Even my mate Barry, he listens to the he listens to the radio station all day all day at work and well, Yeah well even he goes to sleep sometimes. Anyway, that's it for now. Yes. Yeah, we'll get on with the music and I'll I'm gonna debag this thing over here, whatever it is. Oh God! You you've been talking to Doctor Bill. If you're going to debag something, I'm going to. I'm going to. That, that, that could be Travis from Melbourne under there. The uh, mad midget. If it starts giggling like Michael Jackson, I'm running. That could be the mad midget under there. Mad midget. Oh yeah. Hang on. I'm just going to get me bow and arrow first. Anyway, folks, we'll catch you later. I'm going to see what happens here. Oh God. Ah!